Panthers. <laughs> That'd probably work. Gosh. Still yeah, we need, we need to start making alternative hard drives. I still out of to, hemp. I still need to buy some hard 20% drives. Twenty percent more storage. <laughs> Even if it's imaginary storage. Yeah. I don't know it's what the there. storage is, man. You can put Jean Philippe. So much stuff in there. Jean Philippe from Quebec. Pack it tight. I'll go straight to the point. Is it true that From Software won't release any DLC for that awesome game that is Dark Souls? If so, what the fuck with them? They haven't announced what do you any. do? You want the DLC or do you not want the DLC? God, people. I'm going to lump all people together here. <laughs> yeah, are people bitching people about... Ah, like, oh, no- DLC is the worst thing to happen to video games. Remember when you can just get a disc and put it in? Wah! Guess what? You can still do that. Then this guy's all... Where's the DLC? Wah! Make up your mind, imaginary man. <laughs> I just thought the argument about DLC is so tired. Yeah. I mean... I ended up... So I ended up recording one of those subscriber-only videos from my house last night and... It's like one in the morning. Just talk got to, to a point where I was just like, just going for it. <laughs> DLC stuff. So look for that, I just guess. <laughs> as DLC. Yeah, yeah. exactly. What does, Premium. What does, your, does, does, your, does your position sound anything like, if you don't like it, don't buy it? Yeah. Okay. Sounds, that's what it sounds a lot yeah. like. Okay. If you don't like it, don't buy it. Yeah. Get back to us when you buy a game that seems like it's somehow less than it should be because there's DLC for and, it. And don't bitch about stuff that you're just going to buy anyway, which... Just is it ser- services the problem even uh, more. I think there's a gray area. It's done well. It's done poorly. Sometimes there's great DLC that seems appropriate, and sometimes there's is terrible there? DLC. Yeah, yeah, no, I think man. so. I think so. I mean, I, I'm waiting. I'm, I'm waiting for the first example of a game that feels like they cut huge amounts of content out of it so they could sell it as DLC without I, then cutting the price because MX like versus ATV one. Alive was sold at a lower price specifically because right. it was their experiment to try right. and sell more DLC. Right. So you're saying you have not felt like DLC yeah. has been stripped from the game? Yeah. No. I mean, that stuff is generally produced on a separate budget. At, at, you know, or after after the game has gone feature yeah. complete and, and it's going, done with yeah, the game. you have teams rolling off of the project, and now they're just rolling on. And basically, the, the developer argument is like, well, those guys would just sit around for three months not doing anything because their role in the game is complete. Or while we're still doing the finishing QA and polish, right. those guys start on. What if the development DLC. time were longer? And you put the DLC in the actual. But then, you get, then you get your game in the spring, it and, then you, and then you just run into the same thing because then they would just make DLC for at, like you just an, it's a never ending cycle. Exactly. It can't be longer because at some point you have to lock what's in the game so you yeah. can test it thoroughly before you ship it. I feel like there's been stuff that I, has previously been unlocked that have been DLC, like Dead Rising costumes and stuff uh, like that. Unlocks and stuff like that. That yes. stuff is totally like that costumes. Stuff, yeah, things like so, that. That's, that's fair. That's stuff that is Cheat whatever. Codes. Uh, well, yeah, like you, I mean, they're still charging. But if it weren't right? in the game, what I'm saying is, its absence from the game is not detracting from your enjoyment of the game. I think in Dead Rising it did. For me, the, I mean, a lot of that game for me. The first one was like unlocking yeah. like the Mega well, Buster and stuff, stuff like that. Out there. There's, there's still some stuff, stuff. To, you know. There's still like armor sets and like weird costume things to find and, and put together in that game. But it's stuff that they're, I feel like not you, used to be buy. in games that is now uh, you have to you have to pay. Right? So yeah, no DLC for Dark Souls. I think they came out and said they're not doing yeah. it. Right? That's, yeah, there's like did. it's not it's not their thing. They are putting a big patch out for it though. Is the same? Was that the one that already came out in Japan that has not made it here no, yet? Or I'm not sure if it's make the same here? one or if it's a different one, but it's supposed to help the frame rate in Blight Town. I know that. <laughs> Supposedly. I never had that. I guess the PS3 wasn't as bad. I heard terrible things. About yeah, the, the, the two versions, I guess, have performance issues in different areas. Well, we played the 360 when we were playing with Ryan, right? Mm-hmm. Never went to Blight Town. I know, but I, I could even tell when, in, in the yeah, first area that there were the, f- the frame rate was chugging when nothing was going on. I'd never experienced that in the PS3. Digital, mm-hmm. Digital Foundry did a really exhaustive breakdown. As they are for want, Dark Souls? As they are want to do. Really? Yeah. Gosh. I mean, they do it for, like, every big game. It's, it's, I should it's, go check it out. like a huge graphics nerd. Like, it's so awesome. I like uh, paging through them. But uh, <clears throat> they both have issues. They both mm. have... The, the frame rates balance out to about the same, just in different ways. Mm. Nate writes in, Do y'all want some moon pies? I know a guy. No. <laughs> wait, wait, we could... They have moon pies here. You want some moon pies? I mean, I'll take some, yeah. But, you know, if they have them in the store, we can, we can just go get them. Does, yeah, what makes his moon pies different? It's not chocolate. No, he's just oh. Oh. vanilla moon pies. Oh, I've had. They have. They have all kinds of moon pies. They yeah, have banana, have. banana moon pies. I had my first moon pie. Uh, let's say relatively recently. What uh, flavor was it? I, I don't know. Okay. Is it the moon, common flavor? Moon, moon yeah, flavor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I did not think that they were all that. I don't. I don't get the. It was just a stack of craft singles. <laughs> They're a little dry. Uh, <laughs> Something <laughs> called it a moon pie. Oh, yeah, it's, che- it's cheese. Moon's made of cheese. <laughs> it's roll, roll it into a ball. Eat this. It's a moon pie. That sounds way better than a moon pie. I was just cheese and mayonnaise. Wow. All right. 
Brad <laughs> Brad grins. Uh, so I'm actually pretty supportive of things like Project Ten Dollars and. Uh,